Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. By the way, it's a beautiful day, so I have the windows open. If you hear some noise, like actually there's a plane going over right this second. So that's what that is. But anyway, it is a beautiful day. Now today I want to show you some dolls uh, that have been redressed. This is the Etsy doll haul number two that I promised. And so I'm going to be showing you six dolls that have been redressed in three different sellers, I believe it is. I don't have the list of sellers with me right now, so I will be putting those in the description or the comments. And then I want to show you a wonderful playset. I was a little jealous when we did Raphael's video doll room tour uh, a couple weeks ago. And there was one set in particular I really wanted all these years, and I finally got it. And I got a great price, too. So, let's get started. So, first of all, I want to show you this doll, which is um, in one of the new dresses. So, I got three dresses just like this. This is like a sheath-style dress. Uh, the way I look at it, all, it could also be looked at as a slip, I guess. But I don't know. Do, do slits have slits that high up? I don't know. Um, so I really like this, but I will say that the fabric is a lot thinner than I realized. Um, it's kind of almost like a nylon, well, I don't know about nylon, but, uh, polyester, I guess. I'm just not sure exactly what it is, but I love the color. I love the way it looks on her. Now, of course, she's the model Muse body. And I tried these dresses because I've got this one, I've got the black one, and a blue one, just like it, on three different types of dolls. So on in like late 80s, early 90s Barbie with the um, bent arms, and on a straight arm doll. And you know, it fits each doll a little bit differently. Some are a little bigger in the chest than this one, for instance. I think this fits her very well. Um, and because she's so good at posing, uh, you know, that's perfect. Now, the one negative about this is these straps. So they're really just like a string. Let me move her head around. And they're very loose, uh, as you can see, just kind of hanging here and extra fabric. So if anything, just a little bit of extra fabric would have been fine. I wish it looked like that. Um, these will not stay anywhere neat looking especially in the back where I've got it, the extra fabric pooled. Um, but, you know, in the front it looks okay. Um, it's just not perfect, and it's not how I would have liked it. So I've got another dress I'm going to show you that I, I would rather have had the straps like that. So other than that, I do like it. I'm glad I got them, but it's just not ideal on that part. And in one of the dolls, this kind of keeps falling down because the straps certainly aren't keeping it up. So that's that doll, or that outfit. What do you think of this one, or this style of dress? And do you consider it a dress or a slip? Now let's go on to these two, starting with this doll. So this bottom part, kind of ignore that. It's not part of the outfit. I just This was just a top. I couldn't find a skirt to go with it, so I, um, got, I wanted this top. I love it. It's beautiful. I have absolutely no issues with it or complaints. Uh, these are the kind of straps I would have liked for that other dress. Maybe it's just a hair thinner, but this would have been fine too in the right color, of course. Just something that fits well. As you see, there's no, you know, tons of extra string here. It's not wispy and falling. It's also not extremely tight. Uh, now, if you look at the look of the top you see sparkly parts and like two other colors there's kind of a yellow and a blue dot and I think it's just beautiful I wish this was the a whole dress with this material that would have been great but I do love this top and it's on this beautiful fashionista doll that I was gifted by Jamie from one of the uh, Facebook groups which I think is called joy to the fashion doll uh, so thank you again, Jamie. Again, she wasn't in this outfit. She was in kind of a red, white, and blue, but I had switched that to another doll at this point. Okay, so that's that doll. And the same seller also made this dress, which I like. And 
I'm just not sure I like it as much as I originally did. Uh, I'm not sure I'm loving the black and white up and down vertical stripes. And it looks good on her, I will say. And I like the fit is amazing. Uh, it emphasizes the right parts, not the wrong parts like some other outfits. And it fits her, like I said, so well. Um, she's also kind of modeling it. Um, it tends to bunch here in the middle. I'm not sure why. Maybe I just need to st see when I try to stretch it out, it comes right off her breasts. So, um, anyway, I don't like this. That's the one thing I don't like this bunching in the middle, but maybe it's supposed to do that. I don't know. What do you guys think? And what do you think of this look in general? I like it, but I don't like it, like I said, as much as I originally did. Okay, and then I'm going to move on to these next three outfits on three dolls. These are all the same seller. And um, this one is very simple, very basic. But I bought it because I just wanted to see what it would look like on one of these curvy dolls. By the way, all but that first dress, they're all for curvy dolls, which if you remember... That's what I was trying to get, is more clothes for curvy dolls, and Etsy really came through for me. These are all um, good for curvy dolls. So again, very well fitted, or a great fit. Um, I like this color on her. The only thing is, it's, like, it's just a very, very basic look. It could be jazzed up with a belt, a necklace, some earrings, bracelet, um... Even a scarf of some sort, like just a light spring kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, it needs a little jazzing up. Some of you who are very talented and know how to work with a glue gun and all that. I mean, I know how to work with a glue gun, but not. I've never done it with clothing like this. Maybe you could jazz it up with something. I don't know. But uh, like I said, I like it and it works, but it's just a little plain. And then moving on to the final two dolls. Uh, now, these I'm really excited about. I think they're great looks. Again, same seller as that last dress, but just completely different. And these are kind of mix and match outfits with, you know, several bottoms. The top is mainly the same, I think, as the way I remember it. Uh, but the top works with just about any skirt. So these are tops and skirts. So here's the first one. Um, and I just absolutely love this on her. Of course, this is uh, one of the first curvy dolls that Mattel made. Uh, I think it's been about, oh gosh, I'm guessing here, six years? I'm not really sure. I'd have to look it up. But, you know, she obviously came in a much different outfit. I like that outfit, actually, but not love it. And I wanted to try her in something different, finally. She's been in that since I got her. And this, I thought, looked great. The colors really work with her hair. Of course, it's, a, it's just a white top that, um, like I said, goes with so much. And then this jean, it's a light denim material. And look how well that's made. I mean, the stitching, if you can see that, is amazing. I'll show you the back, too. Uh, so, yeah, you have to have a seam, obviously. And, you know, I think this person did a really good job. And, and by the way, all of these outfits, I think, except maybe the one with the skirt and the top, uh, came from overseas. So uh, one was from Hungary, one was from China, and one was from, I believe, Russia. So, um, yeah, I don't know which one this is without looking, but I, I'll put it in the comments. So this is, I think, really wonderful on her. I have no issues, no complaints. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you like this? I think it just looks so good on her. There was um, a different color skirt available in this, and I can't remember if it was, might have been reddish. I'm not sure. I can't remember right now. And then the last doll that I want to show you is this one. This Asian doll, Fashionista from two years ago. And same top as the last one. I just bought two of them. And then look at that beautiful skirt with flowers, red, red and white flowers. Well, the flowers are red. The, the background is white. And so I think it looks great with this. Not so great with the pink necklace, but that's okay. And um, this came in the same thing, but blue flowers. So I would have liked to get that too. Maybe I'll still get that, but I just wanted to at least have this one. 
And I think it looks really good on her. What do you guys think? Okay, so those are the outfits from Etsy, number, batch number two. By the way, I do have the window open, as I said, so I uh, might hear some traffic noises from time to time. And then here is my wonderful new set, play set. Um, I have this downstairs right now, so I'm going to be showing you guys this, uh, but I have to move myself and the camera downstairs to do so. In the meantime, I just want to show you the box that it came in. It did have the box. Came from Kmart for twelve ninety seven. What a deal! But I got it for about I think I got it for twenty two dollars plus shipping. So I thought that was great. It was still very in good condition in the box, uh, wrapped up. So very nice. So you see the piano here with the bench and superstar Ken and Barbie enjoying it. Um, a t pizza slice type table with. You know, glasses and a bowl of fruit and a phone and bottles. I don't have all those out right now, but I'll show you on here what they look like. So a little bit of everything there. And then this couch came with it with this box of quote-unquote flowers, but there's really not flowers in it, I don't think. And then last but not least, the easel with the portrait of Barbie. So I don't know exactly what's going on in this scene, but uh, I think overall it's just a great playset. It's by a company called Arco Toys, which was a Mattel company, as it says. Actually, it's made the whole thing was made in Thailand, but it's distributed by a company in, I believe, New York. Um, so yeah, hold uh, on for just a minute, and I'm gonna oops, let me get it right side up. I'm gonna head downstairs and show you this in person.